Hello, my name is Christopher Odierna, and I'm in eighth grade at Barnstable. I was in a public school before this, and I was just like really struggling in school and stuff like that because it was just such a big classroom. I always got put in the class with like 27 kids. So my mom was just looking for different schools where it was just like a smaller environment where like the teachers could like actually give me some like somewhat one-on-one -on -one help. Chris came to us when he was, I think, 11 turning 12. He had no confidence whatsoever in his abilities. And I feel like our relationship in the den especially has helped him grow so much. On the first day of classes, he was acting kind of goofy. He was putting on shows for everybody else. And I took him aside and I said, that's not you. And he wrote a letter of apology. And from that moment on, he has been wonderful. He, you know, learned how to study. He learned how to advocate for himself, which is really difficult for kids who come in kind of beaten down. And he really learned how to make some friends. I'm not really good at anything social. This one kid in particular named Charles, we had most of our classes together. He was like, oh, hey, what's your name? And we just started like a conversation and then we found common interests. Charles is one of our best friends now. He's just matured so much. I also have a close relationship with his mom. And she's, you know, so happy. She's like, you have given him so much confidence. But I didn't. He did it himself. And he did it with this environment of teachers like Mr. Capella. I had Mr. Capella this year for U.S. History 1. Well, I never liked history, actually. But this class actually made it more interesting. I got a letter from his mom last week. And she said... Chris didn't talk about the future, but now he does. He talks about the future. And she said, I don't know what magic you have. And I want to say, I just care. I took the kid aside and I said, I care about you. You're better than that. Let me see that part of you.